This tutorial will show you how to use the Merlot Content Builder to create your CSU Course Redesign ePortfolio. Participants in the CSU Course Redesign with Technology program are creating portfolios to share their experiences and outcomes. ePortfolio elements include course syllabus, a description of redesigned materials, technology used, reflections on the redesign process, and measures of the impact on student outcomes. You can get more information on the Course Redesign with Technology website at courseredesign.csuprojects.org. In particular, you'll find useful resources for creating your ePortfolio by following the ePortfolio link in the menu. You'll also find the valuable ePortfolio showcase linked in the sidebar. To get started building your ePortfolio, open your web browser to merlot.org. Once there, navigate to Create Materials with Content Builder. If not already logged in, you'll be prompted to log in to your Merlot account. If you don't already have a Merlot account, go ahead and sign up for a free account now. I already have an account, so I'm going to enter my username and password and press the Login button. If this is your first time using the Content Builder, you'll be asked to designate a user alias for your account. Enter this into the alias text box and press the Submit button. From the Merlot Content Builder main menu, click Create Web Page. Now select the CSU Course Redesign ePortfolio template, and then press the Select Template button. At this point, you'll be prompted for a title for your ePortfolio. Enter a name into the Name for your new web page text box and press the Save button. Your new web page will load showing the Course Redesign ePortfolio template. It is now very easy to create your portfolio by clicking on the Edit boxes for each content area and filling in the details of your course. Below the title and links content areas of the template, there are three columns containing content areas with blue borders, green borders, and red borders. These three columns match up with the stages of development for this project. The course background and redesign plan stage, the redesigned materials and activities stage, and the outcome stage. More information is available back on the Course Redesign with Technology website under ePortfolio and then Development. At any point, you can preview your ePortfolio by clicking on the View Web Page link. By default, your web page is not public. To make your web page public, click on Done Editing. Next, click on Make Web Page Public under the Actions menu. Enter the short title for your web page into the Short Title text box. This short title will be used in the web page's URL. Next, click the Save button. Others can now access your newly published web page by navigating to the public URL displayed on this page. I hope this tutorial helps you get started building your ePortfolio. 
Again, I'd recommend taking a look at the Course Redesign with Technology page under the ePortfolio section as there are lots of great resources to help you build your ePortfolio.